Hi you guys. Um, today I'm going to be talking about fitness and health and beauty routines and things that I know a lot of you have asked me through the years um, what I do to stay in shape, how I eat, um, some beauty tips and so today I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to talk about these things. Um, I will say that when I was about 15, uh, a friend of mine came back from a run and I had just gotten back from school that day and I remember thinking I want to create a life for myself where I can work out every day. It just sort of came to me and so that's what I've done. I've made it a big part of my life to uh, get to the gym and or take a walk or a hike and pretty much do that five days a week. So rain or shine, even if I'm working early, I get up and do some stretching and um, do some something, something to get the blood flowing and feel make myself feel really good. I think it's, um, it's almost like a drug, especially if you're used to working out and you've been doing it for a very long time. If we don't do it, I think we tend to get a little grumpy, and so I just make sure that I, I fit um, fitness and, and working out into my schedule, so that's something that's very important to me. Um, I also eat mostly paleo, a paleo diet, so uh, my best friends, <clears throat> Mark and Carrie Sisson, um, he's Primal Blueprint, and by hanging out with Carrie every day for the last 35 years, she's finally rubbed off on me, her words, and I very rarely eat gluten or grains. I know that sounds impossible, but it's true. Um, I stay at my, my happy weight really by eating mostly meats, vegetables, and healthy fats. So it's taken a long time to figure it all out, but I don't have cravings, and um, if I do, it's usually you know for something pretty pretty healthful. Um, and I kind of just do that, and and I stay at my goal weight. So um, I do you know if I go out, I'll have a few bites of dessert, or um, you know some I'll have a drink, obviously you know a few times a week not obviously but but I do if you know me it's obvious that when I go out to dinner I like to have have a drink but I don't drink at home um, I stay away from wine mostly because that's a lot of sugar and it just doesn't agree with me so I stick with the hard stuff like tequila and vodka you know I do like tequila um, also I uh, make sure to really get eight hours of sleep sometimes nine I think that's very important to get a lot of sleep um, and I know that it's uh, really good for the aging process. Um, I do take hormones because I'm uh, 54 and a half, as you all know if you've done any research. So I do take hormones, bioidenticals, and um, I think that helps me feel good at this point in my life. Um, I make sure to always you know, have something to look forward to. So I am excited about life and getting up every day. I um, make service work a big part of my life. So I'm coaching people most of the time, um, you know, that I'm excited to, to coach. Um, I also do some uh, for free and uh, I enjoy that. I enjoy helping people without getting anything in return. I think that's important. Um, and I surround myself with family and friends because that's very, very, very important to me, being with my family a lot. So that is pretty much my routine. I start my day off with a smoothie. Um, I do something called Isogenics. It's a delicious smoothie and um, it's protein powder and I add kale and I add almond butter and um, some flax seed and uh, some fish oil stuff and I just put it in a big smoothie with a banana and it keeps me full for hours and hours and hours through my workout. I probably have some nuts and maybe a little salad with protein for lunch if anything and then I have an early dinner most nights so unless I'm going out. So honestly I don't live to eat. I eat just to keep my body going and to feel great. Um, I'm not a foodie. I mean I love good food but I don't if I do, you know, like for last Thanksgiving, for instance, I went to my brother's house and he's gluten-free too, 
and uh, he and his wife and family just made this beautiful Thanksgiving dinner that really didn't have much gluten. So I mean, if you're weight conscious and maybe you want to lose 10, 15 pounds or more, I think that's a really, really great way to do it. Just. And I don't mean necessarily the sauces that have gluten or anything like that, but if you really just cut down on the pasta and the bread and the white potatoes and the sugar, your life is going to change. And there is a lot of gluten-free, like I'll have gluten-free um, tortillas, you know, and gluten-free pasta occasionally. I don't have those on a regular basis, but I do have them maybe once a week. And there's even gluten-free pizza crust. And for me, it just feels better for my body that um, that I'm not uh, putting gluten into my body so those are some of my sleep habits I sleep with usually a meditation tape playing I have white noise like a fan um, I also wear earplugs and an eye mask so it's a lot but whatever it takes to get me asleep and keep me asleep I'm all for it I've got my little routines um, you know, if you're a spiritual person, it's great to always be reading, you know, um, some sort of excerpts from a self-help book, you know, if you go to church or whatever it takes just to get you connected. Um, of course, I say three principles and I know that we're always, you know, we always have access to a deeper feeling and a deeper thought. So anytime we want to connect with that, we can. And that's just my knowledge and it really makes me feel great um, I don't hold grudges I do my best just to let go of any negative thoughts or any negative feelings that I have towards anybody that makes me just feel light and fabulous you know I have my best girlfriends that I can talk to if I have stuff that I'm going through I don't hang out with people that are negative or gossip or say bad things about other people it's just it just doesn't feel good and I know that um, when I'm thinking anything negative about myself or other people that just doesn't feel good to me so I really do my best to keep my thoughts in a positive direction and if you know me or watch any of my videos you know that a lot of um, my life is spent teaching the nature of thought and that's three principles which I study and you can find a lot of information about that on the internet um, other than that, I think it's pretty, you know, self-explanatory. I, I, I really believe in having a balanced life. So, you know, having fun and uh, getting exercise, but also having a social life and um, hanging out with friends and, and being of service. All those things are really important to me. And I think balance is the key to a happy life. So I hope this helps and leave some comments underneath. Thanks for watching.